Tonight, we're going to hear from a premier jazz organist, Jackie Davis, who is our guest tonight. But at the moment, Bobby Durham and Ray Brown and yours truly are going to try and amuse you with the thing that we used to do years ago called Soft Winds. play solo piano in the jazz field is one specific uh, occupation that requires certain skills. To play organ, whether accompanied or unaccompanied, is another special skill. We have a gentleman with us tonight who does this without any question in the best possible way. Would you welcome Jackie Davis? Thank you, Pete. Thank you. 
Well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. You know, because uh, the organ is a very special instrument, I think, in jazz. It, well, it, there have been many players, but few, if any, other Jackie Davises. Well, no, that's very kind of you. But well, you, you have, I, the reason I'm saying that, and I say it in all honesty, is because you have, there are a lot of organ players, and without getting into any personalities, uh, there are a lot of organ players, that, but really what they do is locked in with the rhythm section. Primarily, yeah. I know I'm one of them. <laughs> I don't play the yeah. I don't play the pedals at all. Yeah, but I shook a lot when I saw you sitting down. No, 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 no. I'm not really that serious about. It. What uh, did you ever did you start on any other instrument? Yeah? I started on piano. You did after the, I think you and I shared the same idol. Art Tatum. Art Tatum. Yeah, you know that. So when, the, when I heard the quotation, "God is in the house," yeah. quote unquote, I don't think it can say it's better. I think it becomes mm. now. A, philosophical adage you know what i mean After a quotation that will never die yeah, true. yeah. And, it, and it belongs to tatum that it particular quote tatum. did uh, any of the larger groups affect your playing in uh, oh yeah like I the had, orchestras or, or i had band playing? i had i had band on the brain i was very fortunate because at 10 years old in jacksonville florida i worked in a 19-piece orchestra with 18 godfathers who kept their pedal extremities <laughs> in the sensitive area of my anatomy <laughs> <laughs> You know, at the time of the strike, oh, yeah, yeah, you sure. know. Yeah. And the one guy who was my who was my uh, mentor, my everything, was the, the drummer. You see, the band was comprised of guys who had been on the road during the Depression area, and they didn't make it, and they came back, you know. And they organized this group, and I was the little protege, you know what I mean. And everybody was a little jacketed. But this guy, Henry Washington, he never would pray. If I could have just gotten him to say, why, well, that's pretty, never. Because he knew this would get big, you know. But he would tell me when my left hand got weak, your left hand ain't doing nothing, get with it. So, you know, tie the hand, the old fighters thing, you remember? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and uh, this, was a, this was one of the greatest education I had, had, because in the band, we used to go from city to city in Florida, and we'd play for the, uh, the Lions Clubs in different cities. So what we would do, we would play Friday night for the black dancers and Saturday night for the regular Lions dancers. Friday night, the world's worst pianist. <laughs> I mean, yeah. never yeah, been yeah, tuned. Yeah. Listen, here's what happened. Uh, it was so bad until uh, the, the, the the saxophones were pulled. In. You know how they pull their, the, their, their, their mouthpieces out, mouthpieces out, out with, with all kind of. Right. Well, they just couldn't make it. So what I had to do was cross. What they call cross there. I put a half tone lower. The greatest education I ever got. Oh, this sure. is where you learn. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah. If you had to have a group today, what would it comprise instrumentally to go along with the audience? With this, just out of interest. Yeah. I think it would be basically. Uh, Drums and percussion. If I had a, a, a drummer, I mean, like you got Bobby, so let's forget that. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
But I lost my drummer that was with me 21 years. I lost him Christmas Day of the past year. And it's kind of... But all I would have was a drummer and bongo. Player. Because you're that full of player. You, you, you know, you utilize the whole keyboard in a very sensitive way, but in a very utilitarian way. Because it's, it's not... A, you know, I hear a lot of... It's like when you walk in the lounge, you know, and you hear yeah. a pianist that yeah. is supposed to be playing by himself, yeah. and he really is having a scuffle. You know, you can tell there's, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, some problems. Yeah. Uh -huh. there, there are no problems. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do another tune for I'd us? I'd love What to. are you going to play? I want to play a pretty tune called uh, A Time for Love, I think. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Oh, thank you. If I were to sit down here to this instrument and try to have a musical conversation with you, <laughs> you think we could uh, converse? <laughs> if I can ever contain myself <laughs> and <laughs> overcome the nervousness. No, you don't get any nervousness. Yeah. What if I, let's say in a musical conversation, if I was to go... Um,
like to thank Jackie Davis, the very talented Jackie Davis, for visiting with us. I'd like to thank Bobby Durham and Ray Brown, and we'd like to go out on Duke Ellington's Swamp Fire. <laughs> It's a tough world out there, but facing it together makes it just a little easier. Bo Bridges and Helen Shaver star in the grown-up comedy series about love and marriage, United States.